Lulz, what's up, man? Can you hear me? Yo, what's up, dude? How's it going, brother? Pretty good, pretty good. How have you been, bro? I've been pretty good. I've been pretty good. How have you been? Uh, pretty good, pretty good. Very pretty cool. Good. All right, let's just jump right into it. So we'll get to all the casino stuff as well, but let's let's go in a um, linear fashion uh, cool. and describe your activities yesterday. So what did you get up to yesterday? Ah, shoot. I had a really good stream, I thought, um, in Miami. It was a lot of fun. I had a, a blast all day. Um, I don't know if you want me to get, if you want me to stay on topic or get into everything. But no, I just go through like, everything. Nope. I want to hear what, what okay. all you did. Yeah. Uh, shoot. Uh, the TLDR is basically a uh, shot to Brickle to try to catch. I was chasing Fusi around all day <laughs> and uh, ended up meeting this dude, Neon. Um, I didn't know his name, but as soon as I saw his picture, I was like, oh, shit, this is actually a pretty cool dude. Um, then they got swatted, but they got away, and I took the hit for that. <laughs> And got like handcuffed and all that shit. And um, then after that, I shot over to where they were and I had an awesome time. Uh, got the gifted 100 subs. Everything was awesome. Soft press Sneeko. It was a very soft press. It was. Just about why, why unfollowed baked. I think he didn't handle it well. And so he might not like me for that. But honestly, it wasn't even a hard press. Like he just handled it so poorly. He's just like, oh, you know, sometimes I accidentally. I accidentally unfollow somebody. He was obviously lying too. is what he was doing. I know. It was, yeah. it was disappointing. He could have said anything. He just been like, hey, I don't disagree. I mean, I disagree yeah. with uh, what Bake's saying, or I don't want to see that on my timeline right now. He could have said anything. But he just like – he was like a deer in headlights, which uh, is unfortunate for him, I guess. And then um, then after that, you know, I went and got some beers, just a couple beers, and uh, chopping it up with the chat. I gave my opinions on a few topics, and the next thing I know, my channel's gone. So I don't know. Now it is what it is. And we'll get to the interview you did here in a bit. But I, I was watching some of that. Of course, I wasn't very happy that you went on there, and I apologize. I said a few things. I, you know, I like you and consider your friend, but I was just like, literally, I got up out of bed. I've been asleep for hours, and I just happened to be like up while this was happening, and I'm just like, no, this is not happening. Uh, but we'll yeah. get to that. We'll get to that in a minute. So I was a little mad, but uh, and said some things out of anger. Um, yeah. But you know we're cool, and I, I don't mean those things. But I was a little upset. But we'll get to that in a second. So yeah. what did what did you say on your stream? Um. Well, actually, when I first woke up, I, I saw you reviewing the clips. Uh, well, you know, I said that I think I covered the Sneeko thing pretty good. Um, yeah. I just, you know, at the end of the night, I was talking about everything and just my opinions about things, and I was like, you know, Nick should have disavowed Ali, you know, something's going on there. I honestly do believe it's, and I have believed for a while, there's one or two things. Like, you know, it's either he's got like the dick pics, like Nick Nick fell for the trap. And I think that's entirely possible. Or uh, Ali's like a fed and he's got Nick by the balls, like figuratively, not literally, like, you know, the other option. And, uh, I just, I really truly believe it's one of those two things. Cause I mean, he has no problem literally kicking everybody else out for like the smallest little things. Why, why couldn't he kick him out? You know? Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. And I've stated those things myself. Um, it could be both as well. It, it uh, could be both. Yeah, it could definitely be both. Nick is gay in chat. No, I'm not going to press him on that. This is not the show. That was the show last night with the faggots. And we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, very many guns says would Sneeko win a cuckold competition. <laughs> uh, he very well might actually, uh, I don't think we've ever played that clip, but I've seen it. Um, and so, <laughs> uh, maybe we will, maybe we'll find that, but, um, all right. So all that stuff happened. And yeah. so I heard about it actually baked had texted me. And so I saw this when I was waking up and I was like, oh, wow, that's awesome. And I, I retweeted a bunch of the stuff. And then I saw they were trying to get you on the Kino casino. And I was like, he's not yes. going to, it's like, he's not going to go in there. And I'm like, I, I think I'd even put out a tweet that I deleted real quick because you ended up going on there. <laughs> yeah. And, and I was like, oh, you know, this is going to happen. Then you went on there. So first off, tell me the process about how that went down. What did they say well, to you? Well, just to, just to clear the air here. So everybody understands what went on. I'm not going to name drop anybody. I talked to you probably about this. Like I wasn't watching the show. 
I was uh, talking to a good mutual friend. Yeah, I know who and it he is. He was like, "You should go on the Kino Casino right yeah. now. They want you on. You should do it right now." And they were building it up, or building me up. And he was seeing that and conveying that to me. He was like, "Oh, they they gave you a massive W today. Like they think that you're killing it. They thought the stream was great. This and that." So I'm going in thinking they're gonna be like, "You got 404. And you're out of the Catboy cult. This and that." And uh, that totally wasn't it. They spent like one sentence on that and then they were immediately just it was an ambush they're just and they were drunk too like i had had a few beers but like i think they were like shit faced and so like i was i was telling them like what i really think that they wanted to know but they were just so drunk and like pvp was like stuck asking the same question in a loop and it was just like a waste of time and then they they hung up on me and then banned me in the chat so like i don't I don't understand. Called me a liar a bunch, whatever. I didn't keep watching it after that, after all that. Like once they banned me, I was like, I don't give a fuck. So I didn't turn it on at first because I was just enraged <laughs> <laughs> that it was happening in the first place. So I was like, I don't want to see this, but I had one of my guys and he was giving me like a play by play. And then finally I was like, okay, I'm turning it on. So I saw about the last, I don't know, five to 10 minutes. And one thing I was struck by is you didn't seem drunk. Um, no, yeah. I'd only had like, yeah four or five beers over the course of the entire day. And I got down there at like, like four o'clock and it was like midnight. Yeah. So like it was after midnight. So, I mean, I had like completely sobered up pretty much like, and, uh, and I also didn't know they were shit faced going into it, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's, it's what they do. I knew that's what they did. Part of me wanted to believe that they weren't going to just do it to me. They were going to, you know, it is what it is, whatever. Well, and I know that we're not going to name them, but I know the the Mitchell friend, and I talked to them <laughs> myself after, and they admitted that I was right, and uh, I was <laughs> right. But, <laughs> but you know, things happen, and, you know, I understand. I, I was going to call in uh, like a month ago. Of course, they turned it down or whatever, but I've been trying to – um, you know, I talked about the amnesty and stuff and trying to put old beast behind me. I feel like this is more important. And today I addressed it at the top of the show and I have thrown a few barbs here and there, but I don't want, you know, I feel like that takes the focus off of what I'm doing, but it did happen. So we're talking about today. Um, so th the main thrust of their, um, inquisition there, drunken inquisition, I didn't realize they were trash either until actually when you got, when they threw you off. Fat ass threw you off and then banned you in chat. And then I saw him just like swilling from, I think it was a bottle of vodka or something. He was just drinking it straight to the dome and he had a beer. Uh, so it became obvious that he was uh, pretty shit faced seemingly, although he's like 800 pounds. So I don't know. It takes a lot uh, to get him drunk probably. But uh, so I did notice that uh, they were under the influence, but they, they turned it into an attack on power chat itself. And we're going to talk about power chat. Now I've been a long time user of power chat, a long time supporter of power chat. Um, a, a lot of people do use power chat that I don't like. Um, it's always been that way though. It's, it's, well, you tell us first off, one of the questions that fat ass was asking you was, why don't you just kick everybody on cozy off of power chat? Well, why don't you do that? Lowe's? Well, so this is, this is one of the things and, uh, like they were having a hard time understanding. Maybe you understand it a little better. Um, I am involved with the project, but I don't want to go into like details of like, oh, this is this is going on and this is behind the scenes and blah, blah, blah. The, the basic point is that, you know, nobody's ever been banned and that sets a dangerous precedent because once you bend the knee, then you have to bend the knee forever. And uh, I personally believe that, you know, all or at least most cozy streamers, they'll quit using it on their own if it's that serious. Um, or Nick would demand them to quit using it if it's that serious. And if they don't, I mean, whatever. I mean, it's literally, I, I wish people would separate it from like everything else and treat it just like anything else. Treat it like entropy, treat it like, you know, Streamlabs, whatever else. Like, that's it. That's the ultimate, like, uh, I mean, that's the stance. Well, and again, and I know, you know, I know who's involved with the project. I won't go into all that, uh, but I, I know a lot about uh, what's going on with Power Chat. Nick Fuentes is not involved with Power Chat. Is that correct? Yeah, not at all. Now there was some. Now it's funny. Now let's go into this. Now I feel a little responsible um, for some of that because so I was there last summer. Almost it was like a, a thirteen months ago, I guess. I and remember. It, and it's funny because I was actually advocating that you kick some people up at the time, and I and I remember that. 
No, I didn't take a hard stance about it, but I was like, yeah, sure, it would be nice. You kicked uh, so-and-so off, da 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 And you were adamant about it then. Uh, and one of the things that was going on at that time, and I talked about it, is Nick Fuentes was throwing a hissy fit at that time. Uh, and he was, you know, wanting a cut or wanting some type of make good. Did you ever give him a cut from Power Chat? Well, so, and I'm not trying to deflect, but let me just, like, weigh in on that part, too. Sure. The information I was being fed was um, – uh, it was like from a guy who said he was in communication with one of Nick's top guys at the time, but I didn't know who that top guy was. And when, that's when I had that go off stream. But I yeah. also know that there was like a lot of group chats I was never involved in, like top group chats and stuff. I do know I saw like one screenshot where like Nick was like mad that Power Chat had like added a subscription option. Yeah. And like he was just like y'all just added this. it at the time. Yeah. 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 And yeah. like Beardson was like, he was like in that in that screenshot, he was like, yo, Power Chat added subs. And he did like a stream that day. And he was like, Power Chat had subs. And this and he was so hyped. And then like Nick had like reacted to that and was like thumbs down and was like just yeah. seething about it. For what for some reason, I don't understand why. Like, you know, like it's not well, so his justification at the time, but and, and I've talked about this. Okay. Nick likes to keep his guys kind of beholden to him a little bit, uh, if this makes sense, and almost reliant on his generosity or what he's doing, et cetera. Uh, and he's always kind of been threatened by Power Chat and jealous uh, about how many people adopted it. I mean, people adopted it for a reason because it's good. Uh, and, you know, he at the time, he was talking about he was going to add subscriptions and he was going to add his own Super Chat. Now, of course, he never did any of these things. Uh, yeah. so this never happened. So this is what he was talking about a year ago though. And he's been talking about it forever and it's never fucking happened. Now he's got a service for himself that, uh, seemingly has ripped off power chat by the way. And we maybe can talk about that too, but, um, he, he never added it the whole time, but he was mad because he was saying that power chat, you know, is taking money off of his plate or food off of his plate or whatever, but he never did anything to put the food on his plate in the first place. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, see, uh, that's, that's really what I don't understand. It's like cozy, cozy. It's a good streaming website. Like the, the functionality is there or whatever, yeah. but like, there's way, just yeah. no, there's no way to make money. Like, and all this time, there's just been no way to make money. And I don't understand how that's possible. Like I've always said, like, even if he's banned from everything and there's no options, if he added like a crypto option, he would probably, at least at the time, would have made like thousands of dollars a month. Like people would have figured it out, you know, at the time for sure. Yeah, I agree. And um, I don't know if it's just, I, I know they could do it. Um, I, I, maybe it's just not follow through or he keeps calling it off. I, I, I don't know. It was always baffling to me. And if he would have added that, a, a lot of people would have used that instead of Power Chat, right? I mean, Power Chat would have still got used, oh, yeah. some, but, you know, a, a lot of people would have used that, especially on Cozy, where they're kind of like fanatical about supporting Cozy. Now, things have went downhill a lot since then, but, yeah. uh, you know, but uh, it would have worked. And I, I was just always baffled. It just seems to be like jealousy uh on his part but um he was never brought into the company or or brought in in, in a like advisory capacity or or broken off or anything and you can answer however you want um but he was not put in any type of power position and in, in power chat no no i honestly believe if he would have been he would have like the, the first move would have been ban Jaden. And Jaden was never banned. And even Kino Casino yesterday, they were like, when I was like, nobody's ever been banned. They were like, what about Jaden? I was like, no, Jaden's not banned. Like he just, he quit using it on his own. Like that's, it was his decision. Just like it was your guys' decision. Like, yeah. Like that's, I mean, that's honestly what would have happened. That's what, if you remember my go off stream. I do. I wish I, I remember. And I came in and also, stopped you actually. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was also going to have my uh, kill stream debut, debut the next day. And it had been put off until today. But hey, you know, it's it is what it is. Good things, things come to those at who the wait. Time. Yeah. Yeah, things are different at the time. Very, very different. I didn't even have the cozy channel then. You know, that was before I had the cozy channel. Um, but even then, like I was the one of the things I was saying was like, I'm being like I'm uh, Nick wants to ban Jaden and Nick wants to do this and that, and it's not his company and this and you know what I'm saying? Like was all part of my go-off stream. But now the next day. We had a conversation over Discord with like him and one of his top guys, and like me and Bake. And uh, 
I mean, that whole time he was just like, hey, I don't know where you're hearing these things. None of this is true. I've never I've never said any of these things, blah, 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 so on and so forth. And I was like, well, hey, man, I, I apologize. I was drunk. These are things that I have been hearing. If you're telling me they're not true, I'll take your word on it. And then after that, I put out like an apology, like message just to be like, I talked to Nick and we had a good conversation. But that's he came into that conversation and was like, I never said none of this stuff you said. He just denied it completely. Now, if that's not the truth or if that's the truth or whatever, but that's what he told me that next day. Well, that's a lie, obviously. <laughs> that's obviously a well, lie, and uh, he's known to do that. Uh, when confronted directly, he'll just say, well, that didn't happen. Or I didn't say those things. And even if you know he said it, a lot of times, I mean, people know this in real life. A lot of times it's just easier to be like, okay, well, even if you know really he said that, it's like, well, he says he didn't say it, whatever, I'll just let it go. Yeah, well, yeah, to be honest, I mean, after the fact, at the time, you know, I, had, I still had a lot of respect for Nick and like a lot of respect. I still have a lot of respect for you guys, obviously. But at the time, like you and Baker were both there, you were like Cozy's top guys. Maybe not Nick's top guys, but Cozy's top guys. And I did genuinely feel bad. I was like, man, I really shouldn't. I got drunk and had this massive go off stream. It's a horrible look for my friends who I'm hanging out with right now. And so, I mean, I felt, you know, it was the right thing to do was to just apologize and, and put out the statement at the time. Well, and it was a different environment. And, and like he said, yeah. like I said, I was actually there <laughs> at their yeah. house when he went off. And I was like, oh, no, like, oh, my God. And I actually came in to his room while he was streaming. I was like, hey, man, let's, uh, you know. And then I started talking about going to the strip club, like trying to change the subject uh, and stuff like that. Now, we didn't end up going to the strip club, but it was discussed. I see a super chat here from Very Many Guns. He says, I think they're still trying to new project to your service. Nobody cared until the casino manufactured a controversy for drama several months ago. Well, that's why I was a little perturbed with, with the decision to go on there because they kind of said a lot of this stuff uh, last year when they stopped using it. Now, again, if you just stop using it, that's fine. And I don't know what all Jaden said because I, di I didn't see it at the time, but I remember they were making a, a big deal about it and saying it's it's got to be a fed op and all this stuff, which honestly made them look bad because, like, well, you've been using it this whole time. Uh what is your excuse yeah. there? But uh, is it a fed op? Well, I'll just ask you. Well, like I said yesterday, I was like, you know, Nick's not involved. No feds are involved. A point I've always said and always made is like, if the feds were after, like, let's say, you know, anybody, like, let's say the feds are after, like, Bake supporters. They're not going to come to Power Chat. They'll just go to, like, the payment processor he chooses to use at the time. And then that company would hand over whatever. And you're going to get that any way you go unless you send crypto. And we support that. So, you know, send crypto if you're that worried about it. Yeah, and that raises another point. Power Chat, I already know the answer to this, but do they have, like, the, the user data and the information? Um, it does show who sent the Super Chat, like, just the name of the user, like, whatever screen name they use but it doesn't have um like the detailed information power chat doesn't hold that correct no yeah that's all through well that's all through uh, the payment processor not through power chat at all and honestly that would be a massive massive stupid security risk because people have, have come after power chat the whole time and if anybody like did get access to something like that it would be you know the worst thing ever for quite literally everybody. So like, no, of course not. Why, why, why would it? Why would it is the real question. By the way, I see fuck cozy in chat saying lies. It's not lies, faggot. I can, well, I'm not going to show you, but uh, go sign up for power chat yourself. Like literally it's open. Well, like you can actually sign up and prove that, but yeah, go ahead. That's, that's something I'll say. I remember in somewhat recent history, your account had got compromised at one point. Yes. And, they tried to leak everything that was there and it was like literally just your your history of like uh, anonymous sent five dollars type stuff there's nothing there's nothing else there like there's literally nothing else there if it was they would have leaked it and plus anybody can just make an account and look for themselves send yourself five dollars and see how it works that's right and i remember i did that because i got drunk and accidentally leaked a, a password and it was the same one i used there uh now they did see like the donos but that's all they could see right and whatever screen that's all that's there and then they yeah. were astonished because they were like oh they thought i was faking donos <laughs> they're like oh i guess oh, yeah, yeah i guess he wasn't uh no i wasn't faggot. um now
All right, hold on. Here's a super chat here. I'll let that play. You can't hear it. Dollar banning them out of spite would be unwise. Yeah. It would make PowerShell look unreliable a business like all platforms that arbitrarily ban users. Only ban if clear terms of service are broken. Now, that kind of um, echoes what you said, that it would make PowerChat look bad if they started just banning people they didn't like or had personal beasts with or personal issues with versus, you know, ban them if they're breaking the law or, like, you know, yeah, blatantly yeah. violating the terms or something like that. But uh, And that's something you've said this whole time. So I understand, you know, we're doing the war on America first and nobody's been hitting it harder than me, um, at least the last month. And I understand the impulse, hey, just kick them off or just do this and that. Um, but that's not Power Chat's ethos. Yeah. Now, yeah, you got it. okay, so another thing they were honing in on um, or trying to hone in on was, do you know this person or is that person involved? And can you say this and that? First off, you did say that there's a board, which I already knew. And so you, you don't make decisions unilaterally anyway. Um, but why wouldn't yeah. you go through and just name every person that you know uh, is working? <laughs> I already know the answer to this, but uh, yeah. Well, I mean, like obviously, like these people have like real lives and real jobs and stuff. They're not like I'm me getting out going drunk every night. And then people still like attack me. They attack Bake. They attack you. You know exactly. Like they understand why. They're just looking for like these straw man arguments to like fight against it. And even like when I was on the Kino Casino yesterday. They blatantly admitted a couple of times that they loved the service and the only reason they quit was because of pressure from chat. Like they just they're that's like they're falling to that pressure. Like I'm I'm not gonna fall to that pressure and like it's just that simple. I know people say like are Groypers involved? No. Were yeah, I was gonna ask past? that. Yeah, some came from the community to help contribute to the to the project. But do they now? No, obviously not. If they were, they would they would leave. It's that simple. Yeah, that's, that's exactly another thing they were happened. saying. Of course, we already talked about when you left, uh, you know, PPV goes in this rant about how Fuentes must be on the board and he must own 30% and all this shit. And it's like, no, that's not the case. Uh, it's just completely made up. And yeah. I mean, there's only so much you can do. I mean, I see a couple of hard cases in here. I don't want to hear anything or this or that. But um, it is what it is. Right. And, and the thing about it is not every, you know, my name's out there. I'm associated with all this. I'm associated with the kill stream. There is no going back for me. Uh, and there is no yeah. worries about, you know, my job, my normie life. And I don't have a fucking normie life. Like this is my life. <laughs> and so um, exactly. it's not a concern for me, but just think about, uh, you know, random chatters who, who don't like what's being said or whatever. How would you like it if your real name was attached to that? That's why your name says fuck cozy and not, John Smith or whatever your fucking name is, right? Like, um, exactly. it's the same principle, uh, and power chat, some controversial people use it and it could definitely fuck somebody up in real life. Uh, if they were identified and identified as working on power chat. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, even just somebody from the chat getting identified, like they don't understand like, the, well, maybe they do, but like, they just know it's never going to happen. But if it happened, five dollars oh, oh, last night, you said, I feel like Jaden lied to me. Yeah. Well, what's that next to the world? What did you mean by that? Finish your thought there. Finish your thought there. And then I'll ask you that. No, I was just saying like, even somebody in the chat, like getting exposed as like a viewer of whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? Like people will go after you. And if they go after you hard enough, you're like, it's going to affect your life. Like, like people have, you know, they've hit my dad up on like Facebook. They've hit up extended family members. I literally see like once every two Christmases to like try to expose me and stuff. And like that would happen to basically any of you guys in chat because it's it's always just like one or two spags. They'll take it to that level. I mean, like the big Twitter account that docks me the first time, you can look at it anytime and it'll be like, oh, this guy's uh a conservative patriot he runs a plumbing business in virginia and freaking this and that just a regular dude and they'll be like oh he he's a big uh supporter of this or that or he liked uh, this tweet from the proud boys and we got his whole information like they go after him like that so like they would go after anybody in the chat they would go after anybody involved in any of these projects now like, why would, well, yeah, you, yeah you i mean i already know it's it's a nasty business, as I always say. It's a nasty yeah. corner of the internet. Probably the nastiest. Definitely right up there. Uh, Fuck Cozy in the chat says, Ralph, didn't you claim that Nick stole the source code for Power Chat? A source told me that. That wasn't Lowell's. That wasn't baked. Uh, but yeah, I did. I did put that out there. Um, 
And that's what was told to me by a source. Have you, and I'm going to ask the questions about Jaden. I see him uh, tweeting about this, and I know he probably disagrees. I like Jaden regardless. Um, but I understand he's got a different position. We'll go into that next. Uh, what do you know about the source code issue? And you even asked me about it. And I was like, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what the source told me. Um, well-placed yeah, source. Yeah. And if you look at his super chats, um, it's like a direct ripoff of power chat seemingly like it even has almost like the same text and everything and um can you confirm that and have you suspected that um well so i'll say it's something i've suspected for a long time just based on the fact that um when he runs his tts at the end of the show i mean it's literally the same exact color uh color yeah. scheme and it's the same exact default noise which i don't understand why like his whoever built this from scratch would go out of their way to find like the same exact or as how long galactic that sent three dollars funny how ppp didn't care funny. about using the service when captain content was on the service that is funny i'll read both those out but go ahead finish your thought there um shoot about has the same color scheme oh, yeah. the same it pops the up same the same color way. scheme yeah. but even the same color scheme like if he like commissioned someone to clone it it's just like to me it's interesting you got that same exact like coin sound, which is like a random yeah. coin sound that we pulled off like a soundboard website or sound button website to use. It's like exactly the same. Like maybe they changed like the font to a font that isn't, but I mean, that's like, it would be so easy to make it any color you want or use any sound you want. So it's just weird like that. Um, that leads me to believe maybe it's like a really old, like very basic version of the code. Um, and plus what you said, and then we talked about uh, your source, and I'm not going to disclose that source, but it is Please a do. reputable source. Yeah. And um, I mean, that's just, that's what it's, that's what it seems like. Well, people don't now, know Obviously, this. I have oh, no, Finish your thought. Finish your thought. obviously, I have no like hard proof of this, but it is like a, a very real suspicion that I, I've had for a long time. Well, it's funny because I, I didn't say this, but Lost messaged me after I put that out. He was like, what do you know? And I told him, you know, uh, what I knew off the record, uh, of course. But, uh, yeah, it was it was a legitimate uh, sourcing, uh, et cetera. Uh, now, let me ask some of these uh, super chat. I guess Jaden said on Twitter, why don't you sue him? Uh, I, I don't know that the, it's strong enough to hold up in court would probably be my answer. Um, but I don't know. What's your answer there? That's what I've, that's what I've like, put into the air and uh... – private conversations is like um i mean there's there's so much plausible deniability at this point you know he could say he had no idea it was this or that or and we have no way to prove who specifically you know would have given it to him even though they were all under nda we couldn't identify the specific person without having access at least if we obtained access to that we could like maybe narrow it down um I mean, and it's really a situation that if he's using it privately for himself, I mean, it just is what it is. If he used it like commercially and we really believe that, obviously, we would like try to issue like a cease and desist and take him to court over that. But. And by the way, if Jane wants to call point, in, to chase. he's welcome to call in. Uh, you know, we just had him on Friday. I thought it was a good appearance. Now, obviously, I think we disagree uh, on this issue, but uh, that's fine. That's perfectly fine with me. Um, so we'll see. And I'll, I'll ask you that question uh, here in a moment. I do want to note that there's 1,200 people total uh, watching the stream across all platforms, and there were like 750 watching the casino last night. So let's go. Yeah, you know, I'll just I'll just point that out. I'll just point that out to the viewers and to the audience. You know, something's going right over here, and something's going really, really wrong uh, over there. It's almost like the roles have reversed, isn't it, Lols? But anyway, yeah. it's tough. It's tough, Jay Masters. You're right. It's tough. You know, it is good to be back on top, oh, king of the sector again, where I belong. Oh. America first. Overlord sent three dollars. Jaden won't call in. Never. Well, I, uh, if he messages me, I'll have him on. I, I would almost like it to happen, but, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see, you know, if that does happen. But would, we'll, yeah, go ahead. I'd love to have that conversation yeah. with Jaden because we could finally squash the, uh, the beef. I don't know if he feels beef on his side, but I definitely feel beef because he lied to me. And I think if he will uh, admit that, that would be great. 
And if he doesn't remember, well, I'll be glad well, hold to on. remind him. All right, now let's get into that. Okay, because I forward. don't know. Like, I don't want to take a side on that because I don't, I don't know. But, uh, you know, and I, <laughs> I don't want to take a side on that. Uh, I do like Power Chat, but I'll ask you the question, and, and we'll tee it up. And we have another Super Chat uh, from Hig Meg and the, and the uh, Rumble Rants, which we'll ask. Um, okay, so Anon brought that up. He said, last night you said, I feel like Jaden lied to me like he lied to the world. What did you mean by that? Oh, I'm happy to get into that one. But I, honestly, I just want to say in advance that I do forgive Jaden. I, for, I forgave Jaden a long time ago, but I would still like to address it before I could consider the man a friend or something. I'd like to have a conversation with him about it. And that could be in private or that could be publicly. I'm cool either way. Um, I might prefer it to be public just so we can clear the air and kind of just get to the bottom of it and then squash it and then be friends forever. I'm totally happy with that. But um, during all that stuff, like if you remember, I had like the meltdown stream and then uh, Jaden like posted support for me as a guy stand with Lowell's or something. And then um, I put out the statement and then he was not happy with that. But we had a phone conversation. Now, to be in, entirely honest, I may have called him. He may have reached out to me. Whatever. I think it started as a DM, but I chose to call him because I, I was already like, he's just gonna leak. He's gonna leak the DMs, like, because this is when Dayton had been like kicked out or whatever at this point. So I called him. I had a quick phone conversation, and I was like, look, this is the things I was hearing. I was hearing that you were going to get banned because I said on that meltdown stream, I was repeatedly, I was like, I'm team Jaden. I'm team Jaden. I'm team Jaden. And um, I was like, these are the things I was hearing. This is how the conversation went. I was like, you're not going to get banned. You have no worries. This is what we thought. This is what's going to happen. And you're totally fine. All right, now one sec. King Ralts and three dollars now that you're back on top, you can pay Thank child you. support to Chandler and Rosie. I'm glad you're see worried about horse. My He's gonna pay it all back in on time from now on. Rolf, get that paying child support win. Thank you for that three dollars. I appreciate that. Go ahead. <laughs> and um, but one of the things I said, the first thing I said, I was like, look, um, I'll have this conversation with you, but like you can't tell anybody ever about this conversation. Or like everybody's gonna be pissed at me for for talking to you because at the time everybody was on the fuck Jaden train, and it wasn't like a friendly call. It was like just like a business call to be like, look, here's here's what's on the plate because your name came up a bunch. Joy right. Division sent three dollars. Hey, Lula's always let's go. Lulz is a Division. real one. All right, now go ahead. Hey, go ahead. Family. So you said he couldn't um, tell anybody about the combo. Yeah, and then he didn't. He did immediately quit using power chat and that leads me to believe that maybe there was some confusion in this call because like my whole point was like being like i really went to bat for you Jaden. i didn't care what anybody said like i was like we're not banning nobody we're not banning Jaden. it's not gonna happen like i will i will fight this one to the death i'm not banning nobody is what i said at the time and i told him like all this stuff and he immediately quit using it you know casino quit using it America first overlooks some three dollars. Jaden won't confront laws. Now wait, hold Don't on. Don't make the same mistake thrice, Jaden. No, look, I'm cool with Jaden. Marley controls is, the sales of this, this is, sector. This is not my beef, uh, and that, I would no, I, like him to call in if he wants. But yeah, go ahead. I believe that we will be cool again at some point. But I'm just saying, like, this is a big part of this story. And so I wanted to be clear because a lot of people still come out today and say, "Well, Jaden got banned." That's not the case. We had this conversation. I told him that would never happen. He quit using it on his own, which leads me to believe maybe there was some confusion. But one thing there wasn't any confusion about was he told me he would never tell anybody that any call took place. And then like the day or at least the week of, like right when I got the Cozy channel, he had this huge, like he said, hold on. Nigga Tyree sent $15. I like Jaden and I like Luz. Keep going, Ralph. I feel that way. Doing God's work. Thank you, brother. Go ahead. But as soon as I did take the Cozy Channel, and we can get into why I took it and all that stuff too, but as soon as I did take the Cozy Channel, he went on his stream and he was like, well, guess what? Lowell's called me during all that. And he said this and that. And and he said that like Nick's getting a cut from everybody. And he's like, and he was like, and I, I quit using it because I didn't want Nick to get a single penny off me and this and that. And like, that was just that wasn't true at all. 
I didn't say any of that. I, I'm pretty sure I told him that that Nick wasn't going to get anything from him or any like anybody else. And we can talk about it. And maybe there was some confusion. Maybe it should have been in DMs, so we would have like a paper trail. But I didn't want I didn't want the DMs to come out at the time because it would have pissed everybody around me off. So whatever. That's what happened. That's why I have the whole the whole issue. I think we could squash it. And really, if he would just come on and he would be like, hey, I was, you know, upset at the time for whatever reason, or it was just content or this or that, but I did have a phone call with you. You did, you did say, please tell me you'll never tell anybody that we even had a phone call. I agreed. And then I then turned around and for content told everybody that we had a call. And, and honestly, he should say, I added, uh, a few details to that story because it helped my narrative because that's what happened but i forgive him we could squash it we could we could hang out we could drink another bottle of uh jaeger maybe i heard you talk yeah, about that. yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right what what is it thank you that'd be pretty cool what the, the whisper voice is crazy. Some people really like using that one. Thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, and again, not my beef. I'm not taking a side on it. Uh, but I will say fat ass is just making up ridiculous lies on Twitter. Uh, as we speak, he says, why can't we know who's on the board or who the money goes? Why don't we know who's on the board of Dono chat that I talked about uh, at the beginning of the show run by an alleged scammer, uh, who's being sued for for embezzlement and stealing three hundred thousand uh, dollars, and is on a basically several websites uh, that has to do uh, with people not to do business with. Who ran Epic.com? Notorious for shady dealings, and I got several messages about that uh, right at the top of the show. Why don't we know a lot more about Dono Chat, actually? But hold on, Billy, you can send five dollars. I like the Morty voice because the bot makes it not sound like Morty, but like some subway bump from Robocop to begging for nuke. Yeah, why don't we talk, why don't we ask some questions about Dono Chat, fat ass? We could uh, we could definitely go into that. Oh, you don't know anything there, huh? Uh, but he said this. Uh, he said, "Why can't we know who's on the board or who the money goes to? Why can't the owners answer how much Nick is involved?" Well, he did just answer that two or three times. Yeah, during this zero. Interview. Yeah, oh, and I answered all these questions. There's a reason why I wouldn't want to get into details on who's involved behind the scenes. And it's to protect those people. It's not to like, there's no big secret. They're just regular dudes that have regular lives that don't want their lives to get fucked up over some dumb shit that they're trying to do to, you know, help, help out their favorite creators and shit. That's really it. And he said, uh, why can't the owners answer how much Nick is involved? Well, that was just answered. There's obviously something sketchy going, by the way, this is a rerun of his new project Two bullshit. It literally is, uh, which was admitted, uh, to be, a scam and a con, uh, just to sync new project two. Uh, and he's trying to rerun the same playbook on power chat. Uh, but nobody's listening cause he's 800 pounds. Uh, and his heart is just covered in lard and all kinds of goop. And he looks disgusting and he literally almost died in the summer from septic shock because he's such a fat fuck, uh, that it almost took him out of the game, literally mm -hmm. took him out of the game. So he probably should focus on his health, uh, and not internet conspiracies that he creates out of thin air. Uh, because he's gonna die it's that bad son it really is that bad now you see me you see what i'm doing you see i've dropped 70 pounds and you've picked up about uh 175 uh so it's getting america tough out first there. overlord sent three dollars i'm speaking for myself not ralph when i say jen and shaky bones mckeels to scared to confront seven shout out campaign but watch him on <laughs> kick now i'll read those uh and i said a variation on that I said, you should stop eating 18,000 calories a day, you massive lump of lard. Oh, and stop making up ridiculous lies because I took over the sector again. Oh, this is what they settled on, Lulz. This is what they settled on, too. It's really about attacking me. Uh, and, of course, they've run some game on YouTube. But uh, if you watch what they did, uh, it immediately shifted to, why doesn't Ralph stop using this? Or why does he start doing this? First off, you motherfuckers don't tell me shit. You don't tell me shit, and you don't make me do shit. I make you do shit. When I say jump, you say how high. You motherfuckers ain't never told me a goddamn thing, and it ain't never going to fucking change. Second off, there are many different options. If people don't want to use Power Chat, we have, like, I don't even know, five or six different ways to support the show, and that's 
people's prerogative if they don't want to use it. It doesn't bother me. There's plenty of other ways to support the show, and that'll remain. Worski's ex-co-hosts sent three dollars. All right. Oh, they're still coming in. Thank you. Anonymous sent three dollars. I like the German voice because I like politics and banters. <laughs> yeah, we have several of those in the chat. Um, but yeah, Jaden's welcome to come on and and put out his side. I'm also not taking a side on that. You know, it came up. And, um, right. I 100 percent believe it's going to be squashed, and we'll see each other in person again, and it'll be on great terms in one day. I and truly again, believe that. And I'll let this play. Excalibur sent three dollars when Fat Ass Ton dies. Nobody will miss this annoying Canadian faggot. Press P to piss on P P P. P, 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 P. Uh, quadruple P, as I've started calling him uh, on the show. Um, and again, no pressure on him to come in on either, just because he doesn't come on. You know, I'm not uh, taking a side or trying to force. It. I'm just saying it's it's available if he if he wants to do that. And I did I did message him, but no no pressure. That doesn't um, mean that I'm taking either side or the other i'm just saying i you know it's the kill stream i'm trying to open it back up if if that discussion uh could happen here i'd be all for it now there was a super chat uh from hickmig and he says was there any disciplinary action taken towards beardson and it cut off but um oh after he doxed a donor over a dollar uh is what that is um no there's never to this point there has been no actions that i'm aware of just to just to be fair but um i mean there is a terms of service it is a good idea to respect that terms of service um but no there's been no disciplinary action at all ever all right now you answered that now let me go through here galactic had said funny how ppp didn't care about using the service when captain content was on the service yeah that was funny andy right, warskin sent three dollars what the fuck 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 <laughs> lules i thought we were fuck 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 friends Oh, uh, there's worse. Sounds just like him. You need to get a Worski voice on there. I can talk about uh, aborting his child and uh, stuff like that. I think uh, I think that would be well supported. I don't know if that's within the terms of service, but we could we could have Worski talking about uh, about his revenge porn dabbling, quote unquote. I don't really like that term, but uh, they like it a lot. They could talk about that. They could talk about how he's an admitted rapist. They could talk about him gloating over killing his thus far only child uh that would be pretty that'd be pretty base that now that's fucking base laws actually yeah, i've seen there's been some crazy advancements i think i've seen some like ai's even just within this community of like you know creators saying crazy things and stuff it's, it's getting crazy so i mean who knows what the future holds but it well, seems to be I support that. crazy i'm not on the board but uh you know i i'll just throw my my two cents in there uh, now I'm looking for some questions. So I don't know if, if um, it doesn't look like Jane's going to come on, but if he wanted to, but I, I'm going to pull some of his comments because uh, he did make some tweets about it um, on his other account. Um, he said, power chat should ban AF for being pedophiles and using their service to dox right wingers. Why would they continue to help cozy? Their entire infrastructure would fall or they would use the stolen code. Sue them for stealing the code. Simple. Now we did talk about that. Uh, hold Anonymous on, sent three dollars. Fuck PPP. That fat Canadian who lectured us for years yeah. about the ethics yeah. of grifting, then joined forces with retarded Andy Glass Jaw Worski. Great point. All they do is cry and ban. Yeah, he used to be against uh, any type of money made off streams. That's when he wasn't making any money, lols. Uh, and his strategy was to attack people who were making money, and then the first chance he got. Uh, to make some, uh, you know, you see him now, and he's like, add a zero to that dono and add more money. And blah, blah. Three dollars. You know. Nikki loves being beaten by his big. The whisper I mean voice kills me. Sister, because Nikki likes being manhandled by men like Mel. It makes his little click dick hard. <laughs> However, Nikki is jealous of big Mel swinging ding dong. Jesus. Thank you for that. Oh. Kyla, Geek Thulu, and JFG sent three dollars. <laughs> I know Geek Thulu is enjoying this. Well, you know, I tried not to go personal, lols, but uh, they keep yanking my chain there, and um, oh yeah, I am riding pretty high, and so, you know, when when I have that happen, I can only have that happen so many times, and uh, well, I just have to mm, give them one of those. But uh, so I guess you can respond to that. Now we talked about that a little bit, um, but I, I guess you can reiterate it if you want. Um, you know, why not just clean house there and kick them all off? I mean, it's just, uh, I think it's literally just because, I mean, 
power chat hasn't taken any action like that yet and i think things might change when that happens and truly i truly believe like for example if you remember very recent history i think um i think nick's already looking for like alternatives because didn't he try to make up with like the dono chat guy or something yeah and it didn't work out but that kind of felt like he, he was moving in a direction to maybe try to partner with that guy um I mean, they still have entropy, right? So yeah, they do. And I think entropy actually runs his. But hold on. Was in a fetal position, I do remember that. Panic attack in a Miami hotel yeah. after a certain confrontation because it reminded the time he was molested. That happened. Let's not let that gem get lost to history. That happened. He was literally in the corner screaming, "No, Ralph, no! Open the door!" And was literally in the fetal position like this curled up into a ball begging and i didn't even do anything to him i just shut the door and was like we need to talk and um there is recording of him yelling that we played last summer when i was at bakes actually and he's just screaming and yelling like he's being raped like this is not bullshit. like this absolutely happened and there is recording from somebody out in the hallway it wasn't even in the airbnb itself or the hotel itself it was out in the hallway and he was screaming so loud and so girlishly and just ridiculous over the please ah, ah, open the door oh oh like literally like that if somebody has the the tape please send it uh because that absolutely happened and it was one of the craziest things i've ever seen in my life lols have you ever done that oh wait 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 have i ever done what curled up into a ball and started screaming in the fetal position in the floor because uh, another grown man wanted to have a private chat with you. Oh, no, no, no. I no. might have done that when I got a little way too much drunk before. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I've been like, oh, shit, I'm spinning. But uh, no, I thought the, I thought the end result, you were going to be like, yeah, he was fucked up or something. No, I didn't no. know that. No, he wasn't. I was fucked up. Uh, but I had woken up, so I wasn't really that fucked up. And he'd had some fucker throw a bag of ice on me. But it wasn't just like pour ice on Ralph, which, you know, I would have laughed off. The guy was like Chinese, and so he didn't really speak English that well. He was a supporter. And they said, hey, throw a bag of ice on Ralph. Well, the guy just grabbed the whole fucking bag of ice, which is like a fucking cinder block, by the way, if you don't break it up, and just threw it on me. And like hit me up here with a gigantic bag of fucking ice. Uh, so it wasn't just like pouring ice on me when I was asleep. It's like hitting somebody with a brick upside their fucking head while they're asleep. So I wasn't uh, very pleased about that, lol. But I wasn't. I wasn't like grabbing Worski and choking him. I just shut the door because the trip was going off the rails. It was actually in Miami, by the way. And so I shut the door. I was like, dude, we need to have a talk. Like this is. This thing's off the rails, but anyway. Um, Galactic sent $3 on top of that it's historical illiterate to rely on Czechia as your processor. I like the service, but we all know what happens when election season comes around. Hope Not Hate publishes their Czechia article. Well, I like Czechia, um, and it is available. Damn it, it's not. Uh, it is available, um, but uh, Galactic says, um, you know, maybe it's a little suspect during... Uh, election season and maybe some people get cleared off well that's another reason that i have as many uh, options as i do because it's kind of a golden era now in terms of a lot of different services out there a lot of different ways to support but i've been around for a while lols and uh that can change like that let some big charlottesville yeah. event happen or some big j6 type shit go down and shit will guarantee uh to contract uh yeah. and it happens every time i don't want that to happen hopefully it doesn't happen but it's always a possibility um and i know some people and i sympathize with it because you know i've been there on both sides of it i sympathize with hey just clear house and get rid of them and i know it would hurt them right but um it would also it would also change power chat so i understand your argument as well yeah now i mean that's basically it i've been there too where like literally yeah. there's no way to make any money there's people there, they're willing to send money, but there's literally just no way for them to do that. And it sucks, dude. It sucks. Well, that's how bad. Power Chat started, is it not? Now, it used to be called something yeah. else. It was Lowell's Not Tip, uh, Tips, I think, or Lowell's Not Tip. Um, but that's why it started. And you just made that for yourself, right? And then a lot of people saw it and they're like, hey, can I get in on this? Like, this is great. Um, is that not how it started in the first place? That you yeah. just needed something for yourself to be able to. Yeah. All right, now yeah. hold on. Uh, I'll let this Me token masochist for one hundred dollars send three dollars if bit. those faggots had just joined forces with King Ralph on his holy war. 
we wouldn't be setting them on fire. It has been rewarding to see them too humiliated to stream on YouTube, Toe. It has been pretty funny, I have to say, uh, watching them flail around um, with this desperate narrative. Now, Jaden has reasons to feel how he feels. I'm not throwing him in there, but Fat Ass and the abortionist um, just spinning complete yarns. It's like, uh, but anyway, talk about the evolution of Power Chat and why well, you started just, it in the first place. I just want to, I just want to say real quick on that point. Like, I seem to remember, and maybe you could like refresh my memory. Was there not like a a tom or a clip or a statement that PVP made at one point? where he admitted that he's essentially just grifting because one time he was so cold and yeah. all he had was like a thin blanket. Yes. Like he's admitted. So like, cold, as he said, yeah. Yeah. So like, I mean, every, I mean, at the end of the day, their show is literally just entertainment. Like they're not even trying to get real answers. They're just sensationalist. They're just trying to get the bag however they can. And I think they take advantage of like the bottom of the barrel viewers, honestly. Like the ones I, that don't know anything. I don't disagree with that at all. And, uh, you know, I like uh, tabloidism. I like I like to be a little sensational here and there. But when it's an interview, yeah. I want to, you know, I want to have a fair interview. Right. Uh, and and of course, we're friends. I think that's been disclosed um, so people can take it from that angle, too. Uh, but I've asked, uh, you know, a lot of the question I would say most that people want asked, uh, even critics and, you know, let the chips fall where they may. And that's how I do it, right? Like, um, anyway, hold on, I'll let this go. Anonymous sent three dollars PSST. Hey Ralph, don't tell anybody, but I heard little Nikki sniffs his gigantic sister's jock strap and yanks his tiny PP while wearing his mommy's pantaloons. I hope that's not true. I hope that's not true. Now talk a little bit about the evolution uh, of Power Chat, I guess, just so I get that in. Uh, oh, I'm going to, but just on that last <laughs> point, real quick before we move forward, I want to weigh in on that too. This one does kind of feel like an interview. I look forward to doing future kill streams where we're just having a great time and it's high energy and this and that. I do feel like this one's kind of more like an it interview. Is. It is. But I'm looking forward to future kill streams. It is. And by the um, way, I can tell uh, Laws is a fun guy. Like he does, I you know, IRL streams, used to be from IP2. Um, and, you know, he doesn't really sit for a lot of interviews like this. And last night, that's why I was talking about at the top of the show. I mean, they just bless you with bullshit basically and was just on the attack from the start and you're just there having a conversation kind of you know just trying to talk a little bit about what happened and it all of a sudden turns into this now i'm used to that right like i i would have known you know what's going on i've had people going at me like that forever um but that's not really uh your style and yes i do look forward to just some shooting the shit type uh, appearances yeah. rather than hey we gotta get down to business here and talk about this this and this and this uh but you know i, I feel like that's necessary on uh, for this occasion at least um because of what they put out there uh really uh and it's just better to have one of these and people can take it or leave it uh and it may mean good things for certain people and bad things for other people in terms of what they take from it but um that's how it goes now talk a little bit about, a little bit about the evolution we're gonna get that in there all right go ahead yeah, yeah. all right um well i mean just kind of like i mean i guess the origin story was I mean, really, I had no options. Bake didn't have any options either at the time, and it just sucked because we need we got to make money. That's the whole thing. It's um, and I started like talking about it on my stream and like the ideas I had and kind of like the the band aid solutions we could do if I just had like a developer that was competent enough, like something we could do real quick. All right, hold on. And, uh, They're not going to underscore us. Scormhammer just subscribed oh, on Kick. Thank you for the kick sub. Go ahead, brother. Oh, by the way, update, uh, PPP just blocked me on Twitter after I ratioed his fat ass. Uh, a, little breaking, a little breaking news alert here uh, on the kill stream. Man, it's sad. It really is tough out there for the casino queers, isn't it, Lulz? Oh, no. I guess so. Uh, the big I've... bad PPP just blocked me live on air. Oh, my God. It is tough. Go ahead. That's the whole thing, too. I was, I was trying to just show him a little bit of love. I wanted to help mend the bridge. That's what I was doing. And, I mean, they just, I mean, I guess that they think they would lose all their fans or something, but they know that, like, we're all right. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're right about everything. But um, back to the story. So i just been shooting it out. You know, Bates had been talking about it, too. We had, we had a guy come forward. Um, he seemed like a, a genuinely good young guy. 
Um, he did want to be paid for his work, honestly, less than he deserved, but because uh, he wanted to help us out. And uh, he helped, you know, get Lowell's tips off the ground and uh, get get going. But eventually, he uh, wanted to step away from the project. And, um, and so he stepped away. We uh, threw out feelers to just find anybody who wanted to help. Uh, at the time, you know, it was a lot of a lot of Groiper devs would come out of the woodwork. And I don't, when I say Groiper devs, I don't mean like the guys building Cozy. I mean like the guys who just happen to know how to code a little bit, who like watch Cozy streamers. And honestly, we would do an interview process, and I think basically every single one of them would be like, "Well, who's your favorite streamer?" And it was always somebody that wasn't Nick, to be honest. And um, but over time, they would come in for a little bit, leave, come in, leave, whatever. So th that's that's what there was a time in like an interview I did with like uh, Alchie Alchie Boone, where I was like, "Yeah, the devs are groupers," but that was like uh, over a year ago. Melissa Big Mel Quintess sent three dollars. I'll let you finish. Don't tell anybody. I don't mind these kind but of interruptions. But sometimes I would really, catch but... Nicole trying on yeah. my pantaloons. Jesus. When I did, I Big would take little Nicky by jackknife power bombing him onto my big She-Hulk wee wee. Mommy would have to come and clean up poo and blood afterwards. Jesus, that's disgusting. Handsome Crayon says, maybe that extreme weight gain is making his skin thinner. Well, it'll do that for sure. It'll do that for sure. Now, you talked about some of the people who are involved. By the way, I'll pull this up uh, on the screen uh, just for those uh, who maybe thought I was exaggerating. I'll take Lulz off for just a second. Uh, this is uh, the current state of quadruple P right here. Blocked the Ralph Mail live on air. I said, my, 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 how the tables have turned. I guess it's because he has so much food on his part of the table. It's kind of literally, uh, you know, setting it off balance. Uh, I started to put that in the tweet, but I thought it'd be a little too wordy. I said, quadruple P completely felted and feasored by me, ratioing his fat ass. Blocked. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Toasted. All right, now let's uh, go back here just in case people th thought I was bullshitting there. Okay, now finish this. We're going to get through this, I swear. All right, go ahead. Finish no, your you thoughts there. <laughs> well, I mean, basically, that's uh, that was it for a long time. And, uh, you know, all those guys, I mean, they they worked for less than, than the value they brought to the table. Elon sent $3. Elon I wonder wonder that bad ass yeah. hypocritical piece of shit blocks on this. <laughs> I'm removing that feature now. Thank you, Elon. All right, so they weren't really worth what you were paying them. Is that what you're saying? No, no, no. The oh, opposite. Like, sorry. They oh, were, they were working for for very oh. cheaper than we could get alternatives because they were helping all their favorite streamers. Okay, I see. And, what you mean. Sorry, and, you know, so it was worth it to them on that front. Like they were helping, you know, everybody. Some of them would say like the the phrase like "I'm doing it for the movement" or whatever, and um, so they would work for you know a lot less than they were actually valued. Like. Like they, if they were working for like some some normie company, they'd probably want like five six times as much, which we couldn't afford at the time, and uh, still can't honestly. Um, but you know, over time, it's kind of got to a point to where we do like the team now. They're they're not groifers. I don't think. I mean, there's no groiper on the team unless they're like a secret groiper. Ralph Amali sent three dollars went to Cozy because of you. Thank you. Left Cozy when you left. Seeing you five plus platforms, Gape and newbie fags would never get it. Thank you for that. And uh, old heads, no, we bounced around, and I appreciate those who uh, made the expedition with me. I see fat fuck crying on Twitter saying that I'm seething. That's you that's seething, buddy. Buddy, whoa, buddy, whoa. Maybe I'll put in some terms you can understand. Whoa, you're seething, bro. Uh, anyway, go ahead. I mean that's uh that's basically it. And just to clarify even further, when I say it, unless somebody's a secret groiper, there's literally only one person involved still who like originated from the cozy sphere, and he's he's made it clear that he's fully committed to to the project and what we're doing. And so honestly, he's probably a big Ralpha male to be honest. That's what I see the most are people. I mean I don't even know who Nick has left to be honest. Well, anybody with any sense has already gotten out of Dodge, right? Or quietly just backed off, right? Maybe they didn't make a big deal about it, but there's a lot of people like that, too. I don't know if people realize that there are some people just pulling the old Homer Simpson meme, kind of just, 
drifting off yeah. because it's it's easier that way for most people, right? Uh, where they don't want to really fuck with some of his uh, psychos who are left, right? So they'll just mm, kind of fall back like that. Uh, so there's a lot of people like that uh, too, right? Um, yeah. So that needs to be taken into account. Not every person is going to have a high profile burn the shit down on the way out like me. Some of them are just falling back. Um, and I'll ex I expect, um, you know, you see even people like Beardson restreaming on Rumble, Dalton Clawfelt, they know the deal. They know the deal. You'd have to be a moron not to know the deal. Dalton was bitching about people leaving Cozy even before I left because it was clear it was already like a wounded animal. Uh, and you'd have to be a blind man not to see it, right? Like, I mean, it's, you can't really draw people to the site, lols. Um, yeah. And so it's just, I don't know, it's kind of in a death spiral. But um, yeah. now let me see here. Is is there anything that I haven't covered that you wanted to say? And if you have any Super Chat questions, uh, throw them in there. Uh, and VHS is right. Cause Kino Casino uses the donation pro uh, the donation processing supplied by Andrew Wilson, who made peace with Nick J. Fuentes a couple weeks ago. That's correct. And the infrastructure of that is run by Critical Dot Video. Brian Royce, uh, who was literally being sued for embezzlement, who literally had a super controversial tenure as the head of Epic, which has also been embroiled in all kinds of allegations. Uh, and so they don't want to talk about any of that, though. VHS, yeah, yeah. we'll talk about it. But uh, <laughs> If it's a moral thing, why didn't they quit using it immediately when he made peace with Nick? You know? Oh, they oh wait, they retweeted people. a couple of things on Twitter and asked Troon cried about it once on Twitter, but uh, they didn't stop using anything. Uh, exactly. and instead tried to change the conversation into lies about power chat. Just complete lies, by the way. Um now, agree or disagree with the stuff Jaden's saying, he he has an opinion, and, you know, I don't see him saying that Nick's running it secretly and all this shit. Like, you know, you can attack Power Chat on an honest basis. That would be one thing. Uh, but just making up bullshit, uh, I have no respect for that, and I don't have to pretend to. Um, so anyway, go ahead with what you were saying there in terms of anything I left out. And if people want to get in a question, get in a question now, Super Chat, or even just put it in the chat, and I'll look down. Yeah, well, so I mean, I, th I think we've covered kind of everything on that front, but I know that you mentioned the other streamers and you name dropped Dalton. I just want to I just want to weigh in on that while I'm here sure. since I'm since I'm fresh off the boat now. <laughs> uh, man, like I, I chilled with a lot of those guys that are still there. I hung out with Dalton. I hung out with uh, Tyler Russell. I think that they basically like cut us off, cut me off for my, you know, being Bake's roommate, because I think they cut him off too, and this and that. Like, I don't know, man. Like, you don't, no, nobody, none of you guys have to rely on Nick at all. Like, you'd probably be better off, you know, somewhere else. And the guys going in, like CWC, like, I know you're getting that, that fresh burst of the way, like, all of a sudden you went from 20 to 300, and you're like, oh my gosh, I made it. But did you really make it? Or is it like all fake? Like, you know what I mean? Like, do those people really care about you because they didn't they didn't before so i mean just you know keep everything in mind and if i had a message to nick because i imagine maybe he'll see some of this it's just to like do better like you're young it's not too late it might be too late to turn it around for all of us but it's not too late to try to turn your life around and still you know well i even said that success you know well, look i did a long interview with josh moon and you know i thought it was fair right like i wasn't even going into a lot of the personal attacks against him and we even said later on it's like well yeah you might not get people like us back or whatever but you know he's 25 yeah, he's, there's still time to, to make some changes throw out these pedophiles denounce what you need to denounce maybe stop being so weird saying some weird shit all the time but um you know age of consent war on that like X nay on that, uh, you know, make some adjustments but uh, you know i made some adjustments in the last month and it's and it's been well received right and i'm about to be 38 fucking years old and so i mean there is time i don't have a lot of faith that'll happen um but he could always do that and what you said about the other streamers i was really hammering on that for the first week or two and you know some of them are hard-headed so i kind of dropped it um some people just saying it's too late well okay maybe but <laughs> um but they don't need cozy. A matter of fact, almost all of them would do better off of cozy because you can't really draw any new people there. And yeah, you have the cultists and yeah, you have the hardcore base there, but they're really there. Most of those guys are really there for Nick. And 
it, it's not real love, like you said. It's not real yeah, support. Yeah, turn on. We've seen it in every case. They'll turn on you immediately if Nick makes that call. That's right. Like they'll turn on you just like that. And there's no discoverability. You get the discoverability of getting the channel for like his core audience, and then that's it. Nobody new goes to Cozy, unless you bring them over with you. Like, right. like that's the trade-off. Like you're you're getting some of his viewers, and you're giving him some of your viewers. That's that's just the trade-off. But that's what it is. There's no new people. There's no discoverability. Nobody's just like coming across Cozy and checking it out. Like it's right. just not. It's not the case. Well, see, that's one of the reasons I was blessed because I already had a base of people and I already had the Killstream name and brand and, you know, all these wild shows over the years. So I brought some people in, but I took some people yeah. out too when I left. Uh, yeah. And a few came with me that weren't even there before. Um, so I think they kind of underestimated just how much the Killstream was holding shit down. And it was also an outside property, even though I was supporting them and, you know, pro AF. But the Killstream had come from outside their organization from outside their orbit and so it was like a property on the platform that they really don't have a, a another alternative to in terms of like oh this is coming aboard right um so yeah you're right uh you're right about that 100 percent. all right now let me look down in chat um let's see if there's any more questions submit them now if i don't see them uh adult Dalton and Tyler need to be deported. Well, I think Dalton's an American citizen. Yeah. But, uh, watch out for lulls on an RV, LOL. What about an RV? You know, I've been thinking about maybe we need to do one of those, but it would take me so so far away from my show if I was to ever do something like that. But Yeah, I mean, they're really fun if you do them right, and they really suck if you do them wrong. It's a big, <laughs> it's a big risk, and it could be a money pit, or it could be, you know, a gold, like a money printer. It just you got to do it right. You gotta have the right cast. I mean, I would definitely go on one, but I wouldn't want to run one. I was talking about this yesterday. I wouldn't want to be in charge of one. It looks pretty if it sucky. goes wrong, it goes wrong. Yeah. And then they blame you forever for that RV sucking too. Yeah. It's like, yeah. remember RV number? Oh, you fucked this up and you brought this person on. You should have brought him and da, 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. We've seen that. Uh, we've seen, they do look kind of fun, uh, but they look more fun when I was a little more debaucherous uh, in terms of oh, uh, yeah. getting drunk all the time and uh, doing a little extracurriculars. Anonymous um, sent three dollars. Okay, I'll read this. Say the same thing about Aok and that it's new. Bake just said fuck Arby's in the chat. Bake's gonna come on here later, by the way. Um, didn't Lulz say the same thing about AOC and that it's nuance? I don't know what you said about AOC. She got some big ass titties though. I'll I, say that. I, no, no, they're talking about age of consent. Oh, I know exactly what oh, about. oh. No, I, I did say some that. things. I thought you meant well, AOC but, like the congresswoman with the big ass titties. Well, well let me explain. Because just like the kissing dudes, I'm not actually a faggot, all right? I'm not a fucking pedophile. And let me explain what happened there. I, on the late show, this was the day after the, look at look at the dates. The day after Nick was like, I want a 16-year-old when I'm 30 or in my 30s or whatever. The next day, I was getting shit-faced. And literally, I was making fun of that. And also that, like, there was some other stuff with, like, the ice crew getting in trouble for, like, pedophile shit. But I was like literally like parody like was was like it was like a parody of Nick, and I was like we should lower it to twelve, we should lower it to thirteen. But at the time and like until basically now, I couldn't actually say that because then you know Nick would have got pissed off and maybe I get lose my channel and this and that. You know what I'm saying? Oh, hold on, Punished finish the story. And I'll, he told to me to save, save it anyway. Later. All right, I'll pull it up right after. Go ahead, Lulz. So I wasn't even no, asking about that, but it was it was I, the I day it was after. It. it was literally the next day. Like I woke up, I saw the clips of Nick. We did the late show. I made the jokes, but it was like it was supposed to be like a parody of that. And then Nate's reaction was gold, where he was like, "No." <laughs> and so I kept playing into it because it was like, it was hilarious, but there's absolutely, I, I don't fucking know. I, I agree that uh, the age of consent should honestly be higher. And also, and I've said this too since then, and probably on that same stream, like even me at 31, like 16, I could never see myself having sex with a 16 year old. Like they're like children to me at this point. I'm 31, you know? And I really hope that when Nick reaches his 30s, he sees it the same way. But, you know, to well, each I was own. in my 30s, uh, but only 18 and up, right? Uh, I did uh, 
I did bag an 18 year old at that time, but uh, well, it didn't 18. work out though, Lulz. <laughs> so I wish I hadn't have done that even, but yeah, 18's 18. 18's uh, 18. That's always been my motto, but uh, maybe it should yeah. have been. <laughs> Maybe it shouldn't have been now that I think about it. But uh, anyway, oh, just a little word of warning for those following the strict Ralph Amell code uh, that it's not always on the nose, uh, so to speak there. Um, okay, so you, you talked about that. Um, you talked about the um, the kiss there, and we saw that. Um, oh, man, that was CGI. That was it. <laughs> Email to CGI paid actor did <laughs> a new power know, chat feature. Wow, when can we get access to this? Um, okay, um, so I'm trying to think is there anything else that I haven't asked you? And I tried to ask you some critical questions too, uh, even though I obviously use power chat and like it. Uh, I think that that's well known, um, but I, I don't really think that I, that I left anything out, and we got a fat ass block. Uh, out of it and uh, got a pretty long interview here. I think it was about an hour almost. Um, so yeah. I'm trying to think if there's if there's anything else. I can't really think of anything else. And um, you know anybody could have called in too. But uh, and again, no pressure on them either. I'm not trying to throw them under the bus. Yeah. But um, just I guess talk about Power Chat here at the end, where you want to go with it, and um, any words for anybody still down it. I mean, I just you know I want to see it continue to grow continue to innovate, continue to be better. I mean, in my personal opinion, it's the best service out there. And I might be a little biased, but I, I truly believe that. Like uh, even, even I guess, big, big companies like Streamlabs, like I think their bread and butter these days, it's in all the other services they provide. It's not focused on like the, these specific features. And I think we beat them on that um, even now. Uh, and that's just really it. And um, honestly, I had a lot of fun. Um, I'm fiending for my next cigarette so you, know, watching you smoke them. So uh, I'm down to wrap it up whenever you are. And I look very forward to, you know, more kill streams in the future that aren't so serious where I can right. just kind of unwind and have a good time. I try to make it fun, but you know, it's a little more, you know, by the book and gone through all yeah, this stuff. Well, you know, I wanted to get a Gino of Casino wants to play all these fuckboy boy games to, you know, to use some street terminology. They're playing these fuck boy games. So I want to come through there. Very cool. Lulz, uh, one of the proprietors of Power Chat. Uh, I appreciate having you on. I thank you for Power Chat. I thank Wait. you for – go ahead. Oh, okay. oh, I just saw somebody in the chat say do our IRL with Lulz. I wanted to remind them that we have done IRL together. Yeah. One time, I remember it. It we was did. awesome. It was great. We smoked cigars. We had a great time. And uh, I think that we will do some. Uh, we should do it again. And I'll tell this story. I shouldn't tell it, but we were talking off air. And Lowell's is just like, wow, it's fun doing IRL with you. I don't have to do anything crazy. <laughs> we're, just, yeah. we're just sitting here making money. Like, I, I didn't have to do anything wild and fuck with a cop or, or anything like that. And I was like, well, yeah, you know. Yeah. Our, mine's we just a little... smoked cigars <laughs> and had a good time. I remember you said that. I was like, yeah, we don't have to do We don't have to do all that. Now, I've had some wild ones, too. But, yeah, I had a lot of fun. We went to Hogan's Beach Shop. Uh, and I'll actually be there. I'm looking at some trips now. Uh, and I'm, I'm planning to come out in September. And I'll talk with you guys a little bit uh, off air about that. I think Big Tech's planning to come out too. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be fun. I'm looking forward to it. And I look forward to having you today. And uh, it was a pleasure. Lulz, tell everybody where they can find you. Oh, kick.com slash Lulz. L O U L Z. That's the main spot. I still have an Instagram. It's uh, Lulz is great, all one word. Telegram, if you want to really follow, like when I'm triggered or when I'm telling you when I'm going live, that's t.me slash Lulz. And I mean, those are the main ones. You can find everything else through that. You'll just look in descriptions, like scroll through, you'll find anything else you might be interested in. Thank you so much, Ethan Roth, for having me on. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure. That's awesome. You have a good one, brother. Hey, you too, brother. Peace. Peace out. Oh, we got the mirror effect again. I forget that it does that. Oh, shit. All right, let me stop. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CSA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.